In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Java E application with a padding front end using Maven. So I have previously created a VADIN project using Maven and this archetype. Mm. And then I imported this uh, into IntelliJ IDEA. You can, of course, use any IDE you prefer. But uh, once you have done uh, that, you will need to modify the pom.xml file in order to first uh, include Java E. Uh, in my case, I'm going to use the um, web profile of Java E, which is this dependency here. And make sure you use provided as the scope because this is going to be provided by the server. Also, you will need to add the uh, Vadin CDI add-on, which is uh, the way you integrate with Java E uh, in Vadin applications. So just uh, go to the uh, directory and search for CDI, and you should see this one here, Vadin CDI. So just uh, go ahead and copy the uh, dependency and paste it here. Um, I would also recommend you configure a final name uh, for this uh, artifact, for this. Uh, this is going to be a war file. So if you don't do that, then you will have to specify this uh, version also in the URL when accessing the web application. Um, and finally, uh, you don't need the, or you cannot actually use a Jetty plugin because this is just a, servlet container and you need a uh, full Java e server or one that at least implement the profile, the web profile. So for this video, I'm going to use the Whitefly uh, server and it has uh, a plugin for Maven. So I'm just going to copy it from here and that's going to replace the Jetty plugin. All right. Um, so now we can start using Java E here. So in the UI implementation, mm, you will see that there is a servlet, but the Vadin CDI add-on will automatically create uh, an instance, a specialized instance of this servlet that will discover uh, the UI classes. Uh, so basically, you don't need this. If you need a custom uh, servlet, you can extend uh, Vadin CDI servlet, but we don't really need it for this video. So the Vadin uh, CDI servlet that it's automatically created by the uh, add-on, what does is uh, it discovers uh, UI implementations annotated with this uh, annotation, CDI UI. And uh, uh, by doing this, this uh, instances of this class are going to be managed by the server. So you can now inject, for example, a service here using the at service annotation. Let's go ahead and create a new uh, service class. Let's make it, for example, application scoped. And let's create a service method like uh, say hello that receives a string with the name. And let's return just hello and the name. That's it. So now we can inject uh, an instance of, of this service class by using the inject annotation. And now we can uh, use this instance to uh, Call the, the like the business logic. So let's do it right here. Service dot say hello, and the name comes from this text field. So I need to call get value, and that's it. So at this point, I think I should be able to uh, compile this application and run it uh, using Whitefly. So let's do that. All right, so the application has been deployed, so we can access it by going to localhost, 8080, and demo, which is the final name we configure in the pom.xml. And let's try something here, and yeah, it works.